everyone, welcome to Wendy's Lookbook. We're doing something very special today. We're filming at my alma mater at UC Berkeley, Go Bears! You know, I went to undergraduate here and I majored in psychology. I love this campus and we're going to use it as the backdrop to our pairing episode. And the feature items are florals. I have a pair of floral shorts and a blazer. You know, for me personally, I view floral pieces as more of a statement item. So I like for the print to be big and bold. Not only that, as we're walking and wearing them, it looks more like a piece of artwork versus wearing like big flowers on our bodies. I have four pairings total, two of each. I can't wait to share them with you, so let's get started. Most of my upper division psychology courses were in this building, so I spent a lot of time here. You know, one of the reservations I had about florals in general was that I was afraid that it would only last for one season, meaning that I could only wear it during the summertime. But the more I play with it, I realized it's such a great transitional piece to fall. So what we're doing is creating a more cozy look by pairing it with darker colors on the bottom and suede boots. And I'm adding a button-up shirt to create more of a polished look. So this outfit is great for a more liberal, creative, like work environment or just a weekend look. Anywhere that we want to look polished. Gate, and this is one of the entrances to the university. Now, when I was a freshman, this was my introduction to Berkeley. I walked right through these gates. But to start with our first floral shorts pairing, we're playing with tones. So we have a very warm tone, so we're going to couple it with olive hues with our top and jacket. Now, with this look, we have two feminine features, our floral bottoms and our peplum top. So to add a bit of contrast, we're layering it with a light utility jacket. You know, it's a great way to add a hint of masculinity to our delicate look. This outfit is great for brunch, you know, to the movies. And it's just a great casual daytime look. We're standing in front of Wheeler Hall. This is where I took a few of my humanities courses and language classes, and I was actually a part of VSA, the Vietnamese Student Association. So we have meetings and rehearsal here as well. It brings back a lot of good memories. <laughs> but to our pairings, this is the second of our shorts pairing, and we're basically picking a color from our shorts. There's a few colors here, and I'm picking yellow, it's a little spot here and here to match it with our top. And I really like this top because it continues our floral motif. It looks like a blooming tulip. So it's like a garden of flowers from the bottom all the way up. Because our outfit is so colorful, we're keeping our accessory minimalistic and with blush tones. So I have a crossbody and nude pumps. We're basically ready to go. This outfit is great for summer picnics, walks, shopping, any time that we want to add a splash of color to our day. of Doe Library and right behind us there is a very fierce ultimate frisbee game going on. So it can be a little noisy so I hope you can still hear me. I used to actually sleep in one of the chairs here 
because I would just go on, I'll do all-nighters, lots of all-nighters. I'll sleep in one of the chairs here, with my little can of Red Bull on the one side, my notes on the other side, my textbooks right in front of me. <laughs> Sweet memories, huh? <laughs> and unlike our floral shorts that have a warm tone, our blazer has a cool tone. And what I've discovered is that rose matches with blue beautifully. So we're pairing our blazer with a light pink top and also pink oxfords. So on warm nights, we can wear this outfit with shorts to keep us cool. And as the weather gets colder, we can pair it with denim. And this blazer works wonderfully with it. This outfit is great for walking to class, to go sightseeing, or anywhere that we have to be on our feet for a long time. much for being with me. I hope you enjoyed our floral pairings. When it comes to the prints, I look for ones that are big because it looks more like a piece of art. But please let me know what you want to see on our next pairing episode. Being back at Berkeley brought back so many sweet memories. You know, I had a lot of sleepless nights here and Berkeley challenged me academically, but it also gave me a lot of confidence and motivation to pursue my dreams. So thank you, Berkeley, and go Bears! <laughs> but thank you so much for watching, and I will see you soon on YouTube land.